What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are playing a game that I would assume is pretty dead. As you can see, this is called Islands of Nine. It is a Battle Royale game that is on Steam. It's free to play, but nobody plays it. As you can see, there's no connection to matchmaking. The news won't load. Um, there's a store, and the leaderboards are completely empty. The only thing we can do is go to training. Now, this is the training area. We can play in this for a few. It's probably not going to be a long video at all, because there's unfortunately not much you can do, you know? Here, we have the recoil pattern test wall, where you can, like, test recoil of guns, which I would consider pretty cool, and I think a wall dedicated to showcasing recoil patterns is really good for helping you learn to control guns and stuff like that. It's very forgiving. Also, if you want to test by uh, distances, like shooting at people from distances to get better with recoil as well, you got these little dummy things here. And when you shoot them, it makes a pew sound, or kind of something similar. And it goes pretty far. Um, you got 50 meters, you got 100 meters, and then way, way, way back there. You can't pass this area. But 250 plus meters, there's more dummies back there. So we're going back here. And we're going to grab some guns and see what happens. Okay, we're going to grab... The first near we got an M9A1. It's just a pistol. Luckily in the, the training area here, you have infinite ammo. As you can see. The guns look pretty cool, by the way. They have, like, little red designs on them. Sometimes they're blue. I, I think that's really cool. Alright. Now, we're gonna drop this. Oh, yeah, we got a knife, too, which is also really cool. See, a little point or a little pew kind of thing. Got a desert eagle, which looks pretty alright, too. As you can see, the gun definitely goes up if you were to shoot it, like the recoil pattern and everything. Yeah, it goes up if you want to control or hold it down. It's pretty simple, I guess. Also, I like how when you hit tab and you open up the little menu, you have to hold it. Like, it, you don't have to press it twice. You just have to hold, grab your thing, or switch your thing or whatever, and it'll shut down without much of a hassle. I really like that. You got the M9A1 Elite, which has a blue design, as you can see here. Very easy to use, very easy to control. Looks really good, too. Moving on to other guns here. Uh, we have the 9, the P90. Which has some pretty difficult recoil, I'd say. At least for casuals. Like, controlling it, you just gotta, like... See, even for me controlling it... It's a little bit more difficult to control, because I play games casually that are FPS Battle Royale-like. I don't play them as a sweaty, try-hard, no-life fat fuck on his computer. Except I am a fat fuck, just I'm not a sweaty, try-hard, no-life. <laughs> also, we have uh, iron sight, not iron sights, but we have, like, sights over here as well. Like the red dot. Which makes it a little bit easier to control. And if you shoot these guys. Yeah, that's pretty much all that really does. Moving on, we have a shotgun, which is really cool. As you can see, the shotgun fires really fast for a shotgun. And if we look at the, um, the pattern, it shoots just like a few bullets there. Although it has two, but it fires like five. But I just think that shotguns in general, like the Ava 8 and Apex Legends, it shoots 8 and shit like that, quite obvious. But this shoots 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It shoots 6. Which is pretty alright. Shotguns are really good. Hip firing as well. But of course, it's better to use it up close and personal instead of far ranged. I'm sure everybody knows that. Here we have the MK18.
probably one of the easiest guns to control recoil on. Got the hollow sight. Yeah, as you can see, it definitely keeps it in a small circle. Definitely about body range. It's pretty good. But this is what it looks like if you don't control the recoil. As you can see, it kind of makes a question mark kind of recoil. Without the dot on the bottom. And you know, that's completely okay. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, here we have the UMP45. I actually really like the recoil on this. Let's do it without controlling it. This one, actually, this one might be a little easier, but as you can see, it makes more of a reverse seven in a way, or like a question mark without as much of a curve, which is pretty all right. Um, oh, nope, I got rid of that. All right, well, <laughs> fair enough. Yeah, the recoil is definitely easier to control with this gun in particular. Next up, we have the CX-4 Storm, which is really good too, but I believe it's a single fire. Yep. I'd consider it this game's version of like a G7 Scout or like a Marksman Rifle. It's pretty all right. I think it's pretty cool, actually. Uh, moving on to the last one over here, we have the glorious AK-47. I'm sure everybody probably seen that coming. It's obviously going to be like an AK. As you can see, this one's more like a... Um, more like... Uh, actually, no, that's a reverse 7. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me today. So yeah, the pattern is like a reverse 7. Yeah, once you get used to that recoil, it's pretty fucking easy to use. Got a Sako. I believe that's called a Sako. Got a little scope here. You, uh, you do this little um, thing where you discard the shell or something like that after every time you shoot. Pretty good to use. I love snipers in general, though, so... Definitely my favorite type of weapon. And then we have the Sako Elite. We're gonna put on the 8x scope. Which I believe this one's a little faster. Can I shoot this boy back here? Did I not hit him? Oh, I can't fucking hit him. Strange. I gotta hit the red one back here. What? Do we go for body shots? I don't know. That's a little strange. Also, I really like the color of our gloves. As you can see, there's a neat little hexagon-like pattern. It's really cool. Or octagon, whatever. Who gives a shit, honestly? Um, you. You there. Alright. I need to hit you at least once, buddy. I... I can't seem to hit him. Oh, maybe we do it like this? Yeah, because it's a sniper, right? I don't know. Maybe I'm just not used to it at all. Yeah, that's 500 fucking meters, though. See, we hit that one just fine. Wait. We can hit the 251 meter just fine, but what about... I don't know. I don't think we can hit that one. I've tried. As y'all can see, I fucking tried. Now back here we go. 
Now, there's only one more thing we can really look at over here. Well, we have other things. You have a laser sight, which is... For other guns, you got an assault rifle suppressor. You got shotgun suppressors. Pretty much suppressors for all the guns. And here, we have fusion grenades. Now, I don't know what those do. But you hit G. You throw it. Neat little explosion effect. I won't look. Ah. Uh, my gun appears to have uh, disappeared. Alright, we're going to try using one of these fusion grenades on one of the dummies over here. Oh, man. It's a big ol' expl- Um. That's fucking weird. My gun appears to have disappeared. But yeah, this is pretty much all there was to it. You can also swim in this game. You know? It's pretty much it. Other than that, it's just an empty shell of a game that... At one point, people played and enjoyed. And now, it's fairly empty. There's nothing here. I think the gunplay, if this game was still running, it would still be fantastic. I think it'd be great. And then I'm gonna do something here. Well, I tried to, like, put it onto, like, not a local kind of thing, but tried to, like, do an internet connection, but I have no idea how to do that with this game. But this is Islands of Nine. It's really cool from what I've seen. Unfortunately, we can't play it. Also, the news thing here just permanently loads and nothing pops up. It's really unfortunate, but it is what it is. Anyway... Maybe one day this game will be resuscitated and maybe people will play it again, but as of right now, I unfortunately do not think so. So thanks for watching, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're willing to go to the firing range and test this game out. It'll be linked in the description. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you all. Oh, connect the game sparks failed. That's sad. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.